time to do a little fishing. The creek's right over there. Maybe I'll get lucky. We'll catch a trout for you guys. All right, you guys stay tuned. We'll see you at the creek. This one. Oh, come on. Got, oh, I missed him. He came off. Got him. Oh, he came off again. Crap. That was a better fish. Got him. Much better. Much better fish. Take my time with him. Come on over this way. Oh yeah. Much better rope trout too. Oh yeah, what a beauty. Holy cow. That there is a beautiful trout. Well, I hit the main hole over there. I caught two rainbow trout and I caught one pretty nice brook trout and he said he was perfectly fine with me harvesting something out of there if I wanted to we're gonna cook it up later it's a uh, brook trout maybe nine or ten inches long I have to measure them definitely big enough to keep definitely legal here in my state so we did harvest one stay tuned for the clean and cook part of it so we got a solid 11 incher out of there I'm gonna go ahead on and gut them start back here right, and cut them right on up there we go one end to the other He's been eating little bugs and so forth. Just pull all the guts out. <clears throat> and that is all. Well, not really. We're gonna get this blood line out of there and then we'll bag them. We'll cook them later. That's all to it, guys. So here's the beautiful brook trout we harvested. We're very thankful to have him. So let's get started. After I first pat him dry a little bit, I'm gonna score his skin. Then I'm gonna put some oil on him. Then I'll season him up. And this time I believe we're gonna grill him. I'm 
most of you probably realized when I cleaned him, I did not scale him. There's a reason. Uh, trout have really tiny scales. They're pretty aggravating and difficult to get off. But most of the time they just basically get crispy when you cook it and you kind of don't realize you didn't take them off. So we're not gonna worry about it. Here we have some avocado oil. I'm almost out. No big deal. Give them a quick little spritz. Both sides, inside. Yeah, I'm almost out. Normally this comes out with a little bit of spray action, not just a blob. Seasonings of choice today. A little bit of ground cayenne, red pepper, smoked paprika, nature seasoning by Morton's, or some slap yo mama. Slap yo mama. Typically what I do when I'm cooking, I do one side with a certain blend and another side with the other blend. Don't ask me why, it's just something that I do. So I'll start off this side with the slap your mama and a little bit of smoked paprika. They have got a little too generous with that. Inside cavity, of course, some slap your mama. Got all the good stuff, all of the essentials in there. Flip this bad boy over. The other side, I'm going with my nature's seasoning. Eat ground red pepper. And that's plenty. All right, I'm gonna go and get some coals started. And I'm gonna put most likely a generous amount of wood in there to get some smoke rolling. We're gonna get this bad boy cooking on the grill, nice and slow. Today I'm gonna be using a gomboy saw by Silky Saws. Made in Japan. We have some oak here. Quick work. Some maple here. There we go. down a little bit to create some coals along with the uh, Kingsford coals that I put in there and uh, we'll be ready to get it rocking and rolling on this trout. this lid and try to regulate my temperature and just let the smoke and the heat do its thing. Once again, I will not be doing direct heat on this. All right, let's close it on up. Get a little bit of airflow and we'll let this temperature rise. Temperature is almost to 225 now. I'm gonna let a little more air through. like something. Stoke your coals if you need to. Oh yeah, looking real good. The smoke is 
just penetrating that skin nicely into the meat. Oh, that's really good. That's very tasty. This is some good eating, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Well, guys, I'm going to enjoy this fish. I really appreciate my buddy letting me fish on his property. I was supposed to be sharing it with him. I'll make sure to catch more and bring it to you, buddy. So if you're watching this video, if you're listening, I got you covered on some trout, buddy. All right, guys, be good or be good at it. This is Jerry from Bird Dog Outdoors, and I'll talk at you later.